Okay, now I'm starting on my right side. And as you can see, it's real stringy and just weird. <laughs> but yeah, I'm starting on this side now. And as I stated earlier, you're just going to start at the bottom. And figure to tangle it. And I know everybody has their own technique. This is just what works for me. And once you get the roots loosened up, you're good to go. Good enough. Take my powder brush. Look at that. See, I have this short part back here. Then I have this back here. And it's my back side has always been weird like that. Once you run into an area that won't give, I know I'm going to just come to the end and start separating it from the ends. When you run into lo little knots, you just focus in on it and just, I find it best when I just run my hands down and gently separate the knot. Detangling the proper way can be real tedious, but so worth it if you go ahead and just do it the right way the first time. Especially if you're getting ready to shampoo your hair or you're taking it down from braids, a sew-in, any kind of protective style. It is a must that you take your time and detangle it before you shampoo. I have two mirrors in here I'm looking at. <laughs> Oh yeah, if y'all are on Instagram, let's be friends. Come check me out um, at I underscore am underscore beauty underscore 83. And it's hot in this bathroom. But yeah, come check me out. Um, and follow me on my hair page. And I'll definitely follow back. I ran into a little knot. And this one is a pretty large one. Let's see. I 
And sometimes when you just cannot get the knot out, then you have to go ahead and just, let's see if I can get it out. Mm. And here's another knot right here. Let's see if I can show it to you. I feel it, but you probably can't see it. Right there. Right there. Okay, once I get the roots done, just push. Oh. And anytime you're brushing, if you run into problems, don't drag it through anyway, don't force it down, bag out. Start back at the bottom. And just brush. Last but not least, y'all, it's like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, after. And for some reason, I am not sleepy. Mm -hmm. I've been putting this video off for about a week and a half. And if you have a large section that you're detangling and it's giving you problems, then take that section and just create small subsections. Small subsections. I have long gray hairs in here. Another subsection. You can't be perfect, but you can try your best. Run your hands down. Ugh, I run into a kink at the bottom. Break it up into as many subsections as you, you need to. Okay, and I think we got it. Okay, paddle brush. And I had a little shedding, which is normal. Your hair sheds every day. That's why it's important to detangle before you shampoo. Because um, a lot of the hair that's shedded tends to wrap around the healthy hair. And we just have a bunch of tangled up hair. You know, horrible mess. And you just brush.
Okay. Then I'll take that and plait it up as well. Now I'll probably just tie this up and go to sleep like this um, until I come up with a for sure, for sure style that I want to do. Which, like I said, it'll probably just be um, either two braids or some braids of some sort. I'm not sure yet. And I'll probably wear that for another week and a half and then shampoo it out. I'm getting ready to go out of town soon for my birthday and I wanted to make sure my hair was freshly washed so I'm trying my best to push it close to my um, going out of town day and that's it you guys my hair is detangled and ready for some much needed products like a leave-in conditioner. So I'll let you know what I uh, decide to use in my protective style. But that's how I detangle my hair. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.